Some would say that the deliverance of Israel, that long journey both into Egypt and out of Egypt and on down to the promised land, pictures God at his best. God saying to Moses out of a burning bush to get up and go down and confront Pharaoh and tell him to let my people go. And God causing a stick to turn into a snake and God causing frogs to sleep at night in the bed of Pharaoh and, and, and God causing lice to be more plentiful than there are grains of sand in Egypt. That was God at his best. And God warning Pharaoh over and over, let my people go. And Pharaoh refusing and God causing a death angel to ride through at night. And all of the firstborn, that was God at his best. And those several million people loaded up and marching out of Egypt and being stopped at the Red Sea and God flip-flopping the sun to slow down the march of the enemy. God telling water to congeal and move back and ground to be dry and marched an army of people across and then let it flop and Pharaoh's army got dropped. He had to be at his best. He had to be at his best when he heard them say, we are thirsty and water came forth out of a dry rock. When he heard them say we are hungry and manna came from heaven's kitchen, he had to be at his best. And when they complained that we need more than bread and when he cooked quail and hip and floated them down on clouds, he had to be at his best. And when serpents started biting in the wilderness, instead of penicillin and instead of other medicine he just made another serpent out of brass and raised it up on a pole and said look and live and as many who look live he had to be at his best confronting their enemies over and over again and yet he marched them over them and across them and marched them 40 years in the wilderness without wearing out a piece of clothes he had to be at his best and then marched him on into the promised land by walking around the walls of Jericho and at a shout the walls came falling down there can be no better display of the greatness of our God says many than the deliverance of Israel